morning guys to some of the machinist channel and today is um, we have a very special video that is requested by Chris Kusak it is all about how to describe your chamfer tool in manual guide -eye. so this um, tutorial guys is not very common to me because I am not using this one and because of this request I also learned Champering cycle using the manual guide. Up. Thank you to you, um, please post up and and shout out to all the subscriber of Santa Machines channel and thank you so much for all the support and for those who are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button and hit like and comment. Thank you. If your champer tool is pointed one, just like this. This one is 12 mil spot drill the value that you are going to put at the geometry of your tool is zero that's how you describe your tool and another thing if your chamfer tool is like this as you can see the chamfer tool is not pointed and there is a flat at the bottom then the, you need to measure from the center of the tool to the to the point of the insert so this one is 16 times 2 it's so the diameter of the end point is 32 the diameter of the outside is now it's 25 approximately and then you are going to input on the machine is 50 on the um, outside diameter and 16 on the geometry of the radius so guys I'm going to describe my tool it's tool number 33 since I'm going to use a chamfer tool so press chamfer and I'm going to input in my tool data it's number one and the diameter the outside diameter is 50 and then the cutter geometry or the half of the diameter is 16 that is for the bigger chamfer tool that I have and for my small tool which is the pointed one that one is still number 14 still chamfer and I'm going to put one and the diameter is 12 but on the cutter ge compensation geometry instead of 6 I will put 0 because that one guys is pointed tool that's how you um, describe your tool so I'm going to do my chamfer program go to cycle and look for contouring and outer wall contouring chamfer select and I want 3.5 chamfer and I want 2 mm below the tip of my chamfer tool I want it below 2 mm and I want feed rate let's say a thousand I will just keep this one all the same and I will just circle convex so base position zero I can the height or depth I can put also zero or I can put also minus 3.5 doesn't really matter but just keep that one zero center point it's zero by zero zero and the radius of my part is 132 divided by 2 so 61 insert and I'm going to cancel it G40 
M5, M9, then G91, G28, Z0, G28, Y0, M30. So guys, I have my program. So let's run this one in. Let's run this one on the machine. So this one is 50. by 45 jumper jumper 2 alta and also and I'm going to change my tooling I, I just forgot it so it's 33 33 33 and my D is 33 and I'm going to make my blank figure cylinder blank 122, 45, insert and I'm going to run this one guys in simulation so that we can see so that's my chamber tool so I have now my chamber And I will change this one for my spot drill jumper tool. So change tool number. Help. And I'm going to run this one my spot drill. So that's how you tell your jumper tool. If you are using manual guide eye. Thank you guys and see you on my next video.